Okay, welcome back everyone. So you had the afternoon to uh, work in uh, groups, working on uh, finding topis, topics that matter the most to young people. And besides that, you also had the task of actually condensing that into an art piece. And you've expressed yourself in various ways um, and then had the opportunity to walk around uh, to see the other art pieces. Can you just uh, like uh, maybe show of hands how many actually managed to uh, get a walk around and see other art pieces than the ones they created themselves? Yes, great, great, great. You've been around. If you haven't seen the others yet, there's still the opportunity um, later or tomorrow to walk around and see them. They will still stay here and we will of course also take pictures of them so they are like, they are harvested. And the idea of doing these artworks was that uh, like we express ourselves in different ways. If we just sit around a table, talk together, we are really much in our heads. And sometimes it's also good to activate um, yeah, our hands uh, and hearts as well. Uh, and give ourselves the freedom to express ourselves in different ways. I hope that helped you. For some it might have been a bit uh, challenging. But I hope that's, um, that's all right. Um, and I hope that besides the art piece, there was also some fruitful conversations and that, that some topics actually showed. Because the task was to work on actually mapping what are these uh, themes that are important to young people. And we want to capture them. Uh, and we will get the researchers on state a bit later to say how they work with this. Um, but since the, a, an important theme for this conference is actually mapping what are these important topics. This is like step one that we are doing today, trying to map them. And uh, to be sure that we have, have mapped the themes that have been addressed in your conversations, uh, we have invited you to share these themes on Padlet. They're the ones on the screen on the sides. And uh, there's a link to the conference website called youthconst.eu slash harvest. Um, it's like in the garden you harvest, like you pick, you pick the fruits, you pick the great apples so you can actually eat them uh, and make sure they don't just fall to the ground. Uh, the same we do with our work and our conversations. We harvest the fruits and the, the essential parts of these conversations. If we don't, they just like fall to the ground and maybe you got inspired, but we cannot take it further. The researchers cannot bring it into the future consultation processes. So uh, I ask you now just to take a few minutes to uh, either sit alone or talk to the people you're sitting next to and just like refreshing. So what were the topics that were actually uh, raised throughout your conversations? And then going to this uh, youthconst.eu slash harvest and then finding the link there. There's a direct link to the Padlet and then you will be on the Padlet side and you can simply create like a, a post on the Padlet. Uh, I can see somebody is already writing uh, and then adding these themes and you can add several in one, but you can also add, add more uh, things there. So just to write, like, what are the range of themes that matter to young people today? Because we really want the insights uh, from you that you are bringing uh, yourself and on behalf of the young people you are representing. So uh, just take two minutes around the tables uh, to do that. You can chat with your neighbor or just sit yourself with your phone.
So I had a question of like, how do you actually add things? <laughs> and uh, on the screens, you see that there's a small button with a plus at the right co down uh, corner. And that should also show on your phone in the browser. But for some, it might be really like hidden at the very bottom. So you just click that. And then a new pin shows up, and you can actually fill it out. And the more detailed uh, your theme are, the better. So a headline is all right. But if you can also add a few words, it will be great. We'll just take a few more moments, and then we, uh, then we gather. Okay, just take one more minute and then uh, we gather. Yes. So it's lovely to see that the that topics and themes are still popping up. Um, and if you're still writing, please continue. So we, uh, we harvest uh, all the themes that you have been uh, talking about. So we get it into, into the system. Um, I just want to create a short link for tomorrow. 
Today we started quite widely. You started in in groups, just uh, like based on your curiosity towards uh, a certain art expression, and you had conversations of trying to map these themes and then turn them into an art piece, and now harvesting uh, the the themes here so we have them. So that's kind of step one. And tomorrow we are building on these themes, and we want to spend time for you to unfold the themes that you think makes most sense to in unfold now. That means that, um, I'll just move to the next one, what matters and what to do about it in shaping the future you feel. And the future can be already tomorrow, but it can also be in like a long uh, time span. So what are the conversations that we actually need to take forward? What, what of these themes are you actually really, really both passionate about, but also find really important to take forward for tomorrow. You can think of that uh, overnight, and then when we meet tomorrow, we, we start slowly, and we have a few guests that will take us on a small journey into the future. And then we do uh, a collective overview of the topics that you want to discuss. And then we self-organize into groups. And it can sound a bit chaotic, and it might be a bit chaotic, but I'm sure that we will lead you through it, lead you through it step by step, um, so you actually feel safe in that process as well. And you have experienced today that we just thrown you out of out in the open, give you two hours to just work on your own and and find uh, groups yourself. And tomorrow will be in the same way that uh, you have two feet and you actually go to the place that makes the most sense for you to be because we're here to contribute to the important conversations to uh, like, uh, improve uh, conditions for, for youth. So that's what we're going to do tomorrow um, as well. So have that in mind and also think like what, what are the unspoken things? Like are, are these, the, these the, the themes that we actually need to talk about tomorrow or is there another like hidden agenda or another conversation that needs to take place tomorrow? Because then you can actually suggest that and host that, and then there will be a space to unfold that conversation. So that's uh, the link for tomorrow. We're leaving it uh, quite open for now, but we'll also try to condense a bit of overview of these things uh, tomorrow. But we also have some people helping here to condensing things. Yeah. And I think we should have them on, uh, on stage with you. Yeah, indeed, for sure, because those digital tools are helping, us, uh, are helping us a lot to actually have an overview what is popping up. So it's very cool that we can use this. But uh, we also brought some external forces to help us with this. So at these conferences, we actually are going to include researchers helping us to see what are the burning things, what are the topics that are popping up more regularly, or also what are the hidden things. So we involved two researchers. And I would kindly ask you to join me here, Dan and Ondras. <laughs> They're coming from the pool of European youth researchers of the European Commission and Council of Europe Youth Partnership. Um, so could you please tell us what is your role here? How did you get involved? How did you end up being here at this amazing place with us? Oh, I mean, that's a, a really great question. It, it's really exciting for us both to be here. Normally at the, the pool of European youth researchers, we get to walk, work on quite dry research reports, really useful things. I mean, we do all sorts of stuff to support the youth sector, but, but actually here to do something today that's about capturing what's happening live on the conference floor. Um, you've heard David talk about harvesting tools and, and harvesting your ideas. And that we've kind of been joking that maybe you could think of us as farmers, that it's our job to help you harvest the ideas you've come up with and to start grouping those down together and to create them into themes that you can discuss going on tomorrow, but also themes that are going to be used in the national consultations to help the national working groups conduct those. So all the way through the conference, you might see us on the conference floor listening to what's been talked about, but you'll also see us in the back rooms tucked away secretly on computers. And we'll be taking some of the things, like the tools you're creating up here, working out what are the key messages that are coming from you, what are the things that are important from you, grouping the things together that make sense, and then using those to help you support the discussions tomorrow. 
Does that answer some of your question? Yeah, indeed. So you're going to help us to group the topics for the discussions tomorrow, but the outcome of the conference is also going to be basically guiding questions for online consultations. How are we getting to there? How are we, from all of those ideas, coming to questions? Okay, even better question there, Taya. So on the Wednesday, when everyone's working together in these themed groups, we'll be asking particular people as keynote listeners to help go around, hear what's been talked about on the topics, and keep some really detailed recordings of what be, what's been discussed. We'll also be asking people in the groups themselves, your, your people on this floor, to keep some records yourselves, to, to keep harvesting this information down. Then Wednesday night, you're probably not going to see us at the party. We're going to be in the back room, tucked away, analysing all the things that you've said. And then we'll take the discussions that you've started here, the insights you've come up with, the conversations you've been happening, and then create a set of questions, a set of tools that the national working groups can use to have those same conversations, to discuss those same things with people outside of this conference room. So basically what you're trying to say is that all the conversations that are happening here are directly contributing to the content that you're going to then use to formulate questions. So basically all the conversations that are happening are important for your work. Absolutely. We've got no agenda to drive. We're completely neutral, apolitical. Whatever comes out of the discussions that happen in this room over the next couple of days will be exactly the sort of conversations that will then happen through the national consultations. So we really want to hear everyone's great insights. We want to make sure we capture all of the different messages, just the small messages, the big messages, the medium-sized, slightly clunky ones, so that we can use all of those to make sure the national consultations really work. Okay, thank you, very good. But you mentioned some keynote listeners. Is this a new title or what does it actually mean? Yeah, well, we were talking about this when we were preparing with yourself, yeah. Taylor. We were saying, well, quite often you get a lot of people coming to conferences giving speeches. They'll be like a keynote speaker. And we kind of thought that, that's not really the purpose of this event. It's, about, it's not about talking at people. It's about listening to people. So we've got a group of keynote listeners. Um, do you want them to, could they stand up very briefly if they're in the room? Yeah, we have yeah. also the names. It's Howard. Could you wave, Howard? Yeah, we have Johanna. You have uh, Davide over there. Mihai, Wuhum, Georg. Yes, Karina and Una. Okay. So we'll, their role through the conference is going to be to feed us with information, to capture all of the discussions that are happening so that we don't miss anything at all. They're just here to listen rather than to talk at people. Okay, so do you think they did their job today already? I would like to check this. How well were they listening? Can I ask Howard and Johanna to come here and maybe share uh, what have you noticed? What are the first impressions after the first day? Uh, what are your thoughts? Uh, were there any topics that were popping up more often? Okay, come here. I'm over there. I'm yes. Yeah, so for me, it was very hard to just listen and not to get <laughs> soaked into it. And already, yeah, I want to contribute because it was so uh, lively discussions. And it was very, it was also very inspiring to see the creativity that was, yeah, sprouting. <laughs> mm -hmm. And there are so many topics, and if you have a look over there, I think, yeah, there's not, can, it can't be that there's anything missing because there are so many topics already. Okay, thank you. Howard, what did you notice? How was the atmosphere in the room? What were the topics popping up? What was the topics popping up? Everything. Uh, <laughs> everything. Uh, I've taken 24 pages of notes so far, so um, <clears throat> there's just a vast number of things. But the two big things, I think, are... Ordinary kids, as they're sometimes called, the ordinary young people, middle of the road young people. Louis did a fantastic set of comments, but uh, we do tend to forget about this kind of young people who are neither active and positive nor are problematic and negative. We forget this vast group of young people in the middle who are neither one thing nor the other, and they're not subject to uh, any kind of policy attention. So that was raised very early on. And then in the afternoon, the other big issue was this concept of security, social security. That's not like social assistance, that's a general framework, a platform that can uh, be a safety net for young people slipping to the margins, can be a trampoline to launch people back into a sort of positive direction in their lives. And it's what Luis was talking about that 
this generation of globally aware, environmentally conscious young people are actually struggling with the basic kind of human aspirations of jobs, housing, independence, and so on. And just occasionally today, the idea of mental health has been um, <coughs> produced from different places and in, in different uh, <coughs> bits of the debate. And I'm, I'm actually very worried about the youth field starting to tackle mental health. It's too horrible and tough an issue. We need some real expertise on that one. But nevertheless, what research tells us is that young people's mental health suffers when they feel dislocated. Not disadvantaged, dislocated. So the idea of social security as a starting point to start to really deal with the uh, expanding mental health problems facing young people in Europe and across the world is actually a very core idea that we need to pursue tomorrow. Okay, thank you very much. So yeah, a lot of topics. And as David mentioned um, before, tomorrow we're going deeper into the topics. Maybe some of the topics that you mentioned today, you want to build upon tomorrow. Maybe you will see that maybe some of the topics are not so relevant. So what we're going to do um, during this night is to actually have a look of the Padlet to see and to try to group them up a little bit. But don't worry, tomorrow you'll be able to propose topics that you really want to discuss about. Um, but the overall recommendation maybe for the all participant is to really make sure that you write things down, that you use the tools that we are offering for you, because if you don't put it either on paper or online, it's not going to be there. Uh, we are here more than 200 people, um, so we really want to hear everything that, that, that's happening. This is why we brought here researchers, this is why we have here keynote listeners, but it's also your responsibility to speak up and to make it visible. Is that okay? Is that something that we can agree about? Yeah? Okay, very well. Then, yeah. something else. So maybe else we could just finish, just to add yeah. on that note. This Padlet is going to be open for maybe another 20 minutes or so, so if you've got a burning issue that you really think should be discussed, now's the time to get it on there to make sure it goes into the analysis tonight. Yes, indeed. And yeah, don't be afraid if you will see some strange people just being there in the corner listening what you're discussing, they're just doing their job, okay? And if you really want to share something, you can always approach them as well and just share what you really think needs to be addressed. Okay, so we kind of understand how this, yeah, uh, Andras, you wanted to add something as well? No, I just uh, actually wanted to thank all of you because when I look at the Padlet and when I have checked all the rooms where you've been working, I can see all the energy bursting and that's wonderful. Uh, and I would also like to point out that this is just the beginning, okay? So just don't, uh, don't get stopped by today. Uh, tomorrow we start all over again and we are really, really glad to see all the energy and all the uh, ideas flowing. Let's keep it that way, not only today, but also tomorrow, okay? Thank you very much. I think they really deserve a round of applause, the researchers and the keynote listeners. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Uh, and now what we want to share with you are just some more practical announcements and how the evening and the transition till tomorrow is going to look like. David, give us some updates. Ah, oh no, of course. I forgot about the outside world. We encourage all of you and also people who have been following us um, through broad screaming um, to share what they think really matters for young people. So Kristen, please update us. What have you noticed um, through social media? What has been popping up there? Yeah, um, hi. So uh, I've been reading all of the tweets uh, or other social media posts that you're sending in or those who want to join us from the outside. Um, so all of those are read and all of those contributions are also considered. I picked out some tweets right now. Uh, many of them come from you yourselves as well. So maybe we can take a look at them quickly and see some of the thoughts that uh, you've shared on social media. So there's uh, gender equality, uh, young people represented in um, uh, parliaments, national parliaments, for example. Um, let's maybe move. Yeah, some others like uh, civic education, also mental health there. Um, mobility being more accessible, accessibility in general for different groups. Um, so 
these are a couple of tweets that I picked up from today's social media, but I really encourage you to do that again tomorrow and s share it with your social media networks and invite others to join this conversation as well, because we do want to hear from as many people as possible, and this is a great way to do it. So, but thanks for sharing today. Yeah, indeed. If you have your peers, your colleagues back in your country, the people who weren't able to join us here, you can also let them know to follow us, to get involved in the discussion, to tweet. They can follow us uh, through web stream. Um, so really engage all the networks that you have, um, because of course we want to hear as many voices as possible. This is the idea behind involving the outside world in this conference as well. Exactly. So the hashtag YouthConf, all of the content there will not be lost and we will uh, read it all and uh, get the, the content from there as well. So. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Kristen. Um, so yeah, as uh, said before, we just have some more practical announcement. What are we going to do tonight and what's, um, what's on the schedule for the next moments, hours? Long hours during night, maybe. Maybe long conversations during the night, yeah. Maybe long conversations, indeed. So soon it's six o'clock, and uh, we're rounding off the day program for this conference. There will also be a dinner uh, tonight. I'll just quickly show you uh, what we will do, one more. So the evening program is that uh, here at six o'clock, we end the program. And in front of the venue, there will be buses going back to the hotel with an option just to put your bag and just to land and relax a little bit. And then uh, at a quarter past seven, there are buses taking you back here again. Uh, and then there will be a dinner here at uh, half past seven. And you will be out what's called the power station, uh, which is when you enter the first room on the right, uh, the dinner will be uh, tonight, and there will be some interesting uh, music and entertainment for you. Um, yeah, so uh, look forward for that. And then uh, you can see there's almost uh, only about an hour to go back and forth. So if you don't want to go to the hotel, you can for sure uh, hang around in the, in the hallways if you prefer to stay here. But there is an option uh, to go back in, uh, and forth. Yes. There's an important thing around uh, your batches, these ones. Uh, it's really important that you bring them. And because this is the like, high-level venue for presidency events, you also have to bring them tonight because they don't want to let people in without their batches. So please bring this both tonight and tomorrow so you can get in and uh, have food and have a great time here. Okay? Yeah, but for tonight, they can bring something else as well, right? They can. For the party. Mm. Mm. There is an option to bring musical instruments. So if you uh, by accident brought one or brought a microphone or uh, just have some musical instruments with you, please uh, bring them tonight. If you don't, it's also completely all right. It's just optional. And uh, yeah, you'll know more later. And then I think it's time to, uh, to land the day, and uh, to do that, I think you should uh, just have a look at the person you're sitting next to, and just have a few minutes of uh, reflection of the day. So we have two questions for you. What did, spark, uh, what did today spark in you, and what would you like to bring forward for tomorrow? So just take a moment and uh, have a chat of that, and then we close all together.
Do you want to? Okay, just take 30 seconds more and then we round off. Okay, thank you very much. And if someone is willing to share just a few comments from uh, what today sparked in them and what they would like to bring forward for tomorrow, Thea is uh, in the middle with a, with a microphone. So just uh, get your hand in the air and she will just uh, hear a few. Yeah, we already have people here who want to share what sparked in you today. Uh, yes, I think uh, the teamwork and the uh, and let's, let me call it the workshops uh, that was really inspiring. Um, working as a team, uh, shout out to uh, the Timber Sharks. I think uh, you did an amazing job as a team. Uh, woo for the Timber Sharks! Woo wow, very nice. Anybody else? What sparked in you, or what would you like to bring forward tomorrow? Did you discuss those things? No. No. Just put okay. a hand in the air. There's you a hand here. So yeah, we have a hand here. Where? Okay, we have some people who wants to uh, share here. Uh, so yes, um, I like the storytelling session uh, this morning because it uh, we were we were discussing where we were coming from and how we were how we ended up in this uh, fancy conference here in Tallinn, which is obviously a huge a huge privilege, and I found it a very good uh, wake up call for all of us to uh, realize that we're not just here because we're all nice, uh, good-looking, friendly people, uh, but mainly because we are representing uh, with a lot of energy and enthusiasm and commitment a certain group of people in Europe. So there are many people behind us who don't have the privilege, and I found it a nice uh, wake-up call because we don't only do it because we have to, but we do it because we want to and we care about them. Thank you. Thank you very much for sharing. Any more thoughts? Here. Okay, for me, I'd like to bring curiosity and open mind tomorrow. So you come here with an idea of what you want to talk about, but it's good to open your mind and listen to other people. And by listening to them, you might end up realizing that, okay, actually what I thought is actually wrong and this is how it should be. So being open, listen to other people and curiosity as well. Thank you very much. Any more Yes, right. I also uh, was, uh, saw somebody waving here, so uh, you first. Uh, thank you. So uh, like everybody else, I thought that the sessions today were super interesting, especially the creative part. Uh, so it definitely sparked this idea of collaboration and that there are creative ways, not the traditional ways of doing things. Uh, so thinking outside of the box and also doing things outside of the box. And in terms of what uh, we would like to bring tomorrow, uh, so 
for us um, here who are representing the EAP countries, actually this is a historic opportunity for us because it's the first time EAP youth get a chance to participate in the structured dialogue process. And we would really like to bring this perspective because we think that the challenges we have are uh, common challenges and that we can tackle them together and that we'd be stronger together by doing so. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Maybe one more, and last one. Yes, take a last one. Thea, you go there yes. for the last oh. comment. Sorry. No, uh, okay. Uh, hello, I'm Panayotis from YU. Uh, what sparked me today is all this diversity of people and ideas, and I got to learn a lot of things from various people, but also see the importance of each level, from local level, national youth councils, international organizations, taking part in sharing the ideas, and really focusing on what's next. We need to work together, and I did get this feeling, and what I'd like to bring forward tomorrow is actually more of this energy we had today and more inspiration from all these young people and older people uh, <laughs> that we actually sitting on the same table trying to work together no matter the sector, no matter the topic, no matter uh, our backgrounds or as organizations or individuals. Thank you. Thank you very much. So openness, creativity and collaboration to bring that forward for tomorrow. With that, we're going to end uh, the first day. And uh, I think you should give yourself a big round of applause for taking part in this and collaborating. <laughs> and then uh, it's almost 6 o'clock, so we're ending uh, the program. But there is still time to sneak around. So there, if there's some installations you haven't seen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yay, see those installations. So uh, you can have a walk around, and uh, the padlet will also still be opened for like a, a few moments. Yeah, Dan is looking like, let's close this now. But uh, so, uh, so if, if there's something you haven't typed in, please uh, add it to the padlet. And then see you at the party and enjoy the night. And remember that tomorrow we start at uh, half past nine and not 10 as we did today, so half an hour earlier. Um, but buses will be leaving at quarter to nine uh, tomorrow from the hotel. Enjoy your evening. <laughs>